Central Cambria. I'm Davey. And I'm Slevy. Today is Tuesday, January 19th, 2017, and it is day six of our weekly schedule. Today for lunch, we're having buffalo chicken pizza. Congratulations to the mock trial team on their incredible victory over Everett High School last night at the Blair County Courthouse in Hollidaysburg. Excellent performances were delivered by Mary Beth Woods, Chase Forberger, Connor Gibson, Jessica Remillard, Nick Lisinski, and Jessa Balow. Best Witness Award winner was Nick Lisinski, and Best Attorney Award goes to Connor Gibson. Now let's see what's in sports. 19 lucky students were chosen to be a part of PMEA District 6 Chorus. They went through an audition process to see if they could advance to regionals. Here's what happened. So Trevor, how do you think your audition went? You know, I felt really confident about my audition, you know. Went in there, gave her one of these, stepped out of the room. They also stayed at a Fairfield Marriott and Suites where they had delicious food for breakfast in the morning while also eating dinner at the cafeteria. It's even a great time to work out and get fit. I just don't know what you mean. I mean, I'm Yes. <laughs> Third and final day. We're all tired as crap. Amen. Sure, are you excited for your first PMEA festival? I am so excited. We've been working so hard and it's gonna be awesome. What's up Central Cambria? I'm Maddie. And I'm Riley. With your CC Sports Report. Today in sports, there's a girls varsity basketball game home against Penn Cambria and a varsity hockey game home against Bishop Guilfoyle. Everybody get out and support your Red Devils. Good luck to all of our winter sports. Now over to Kate with weather. Where did I go wrong? I lost a friend somewhere along in the bitterness and I would this is Kate with the weather. Today, the weather's going to be in the 40s and it's going to rain all day, so stay dry, Central Cambria. Now back to you in the studio. I'm And I'm Emily, here to guide you. Attention seniors, UPJ is offering two FAFSA completion workshops, Friday, February 17th from 1.30 to 4 p.m. and Friday, March 17th from 1.30 to 4 p.m. Reservations are required. Please stop in the guidance office for more information. Also, a flyer with all of the details has been emailed to the seniors. Here are some very important reminders from the guidance office. The deadline to register for the March 11th SAT is February 10th. The preferred method is register online at www.sat.org slash register, but registration materials are also available in the guidance office. The deadline to register for the April 8th ACT is March 3rd. The preferred method is to register for the ACT is online at www.act slash student.org. Registration materials are also available in the guidance office. Juniors are also interested in attending a post-secondary school who, which requires an SAT or ACT should register and take the test this semester. Don't wait to sit for, don't wait to sit for the SAT or ACT for the first time next year, juniors. Students will not be admitted to the SAT or ACT testing site without two forms of proper identification. If you do not have a photo ID, such as a driver's license or passport, you must see Mrs. Gwizdak in the guidance office for a proof of ID form at least two weeks before the test date. Juniors and seniors interested in applying for the 2017 Student of the Year competition for the Challenge Program should check their school email and stop in the guidance office for more information. Happy birthday today to Caitlin Machuda. Here are some words of wisdom. Pain is temporary, but quitting lasts forever. Now let's see what's trending today. Happiness is the truth, 
Hello, Hello Central Cambria. Cambria. I'm Brad. And I'm Gabe. And here's Cambria. what's trending. McDonald's Big Mac is getting even bigger and smaller. For those who think the Big Mac is a bit too big, McDonald's is coming out with the Mac Jr. For those who think the Big Mac isn't quite big enough, McDonald's is unveiling the Grand Mac. Nick Stafford from the great state of Virginia rose to fame after deciding to pay his $2,987.14 tax bill in pennies, which makes for almost 300,000 pennies. He transported 300,000 coins to his local DMV with five barrels. Signing off from CCTV, have, have a, a terrific, terrific Thursday, Thursday Central Canberra. Canberra.